best advice I've ever received is you should have thought about kids before you had them. The worst advice I've ever gotten, just fly coach. It's basically the same thing. It is not the same thing. And neither is economy comfort. The best advice I probably ever received is probably very cliche. Um, I was raised by my aunt. It's my mom's oldest sister. And she always said to me to really, really reach for the stars. But, who, but what does that really mean? You know what I'm saying? And I would be looking at her like, girl, that's so crazy. But she, you know, besides saying reach for the stars, she really, her whole thing was she really wanted me to have a career. And, um, and I felt like just her constantly putting that in me, like you need to have a career. You need to never wait for a man to take care of you. You need to always be able to take care of yourself. And I think her putting that in me led me to where I am today. I am an independent woman. The worst advice I ever got was that I should cut bangs. The worst advice I ever received was from a psychic who said I shouldn't marry Heather because she was going to break up with me after a couple years of marriage. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong go, Mary Lou. The worst advice I ever received was from a psychic who told me to marry different <laughs> 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 So the best advice I've ever gotten was when my mom told me a long time ago, she said, stop talking about doing something and actually do it. Mm -hmm. Because I used to always talk about being on television, being a broadcaster, mm -hmm. being an actor, whatever. And I'm like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. She said, stop talking about it. Do your research. Make sure you make your dreams come true. So stop talking about it and go out and do it. That's the best advice I've ever received. The best advice I ever received was sometimes the gift that people give you is not being in your life. One of the worst pieces of advice I was ever given was by this diva, you know, a fellow drag queen in the club, and she was like, oh, use this type of glue for your wig. Baby, about a minute and a half into my full-on 10-minute Nicki Minaj mega mix, that wig went from here to back here. I ain't using that glue no more. Mm -mm. The worst advice I was ever given was to wax off all my eyebrows and try to start again. Now I have no eyebrows. Please, it's just... Thank God for an eyebrow pencil. The worst advice I've ever been given is to not laugh so loud. I don't care, I laugh really loud. The best advice I have ever been given is to always stay true to yourself. My favorite advice came from my mom and it's basically, you know, if you can conceive the thought, you can make it happen. Very simple, but true. The worst advice, I, 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 I have a rule of thumb. Don't ask your girlfriends to help you make decisions about your relationship. Because usually you get back together and then it's awkward. The best advice that I've ever received definitely came from my mother. And when I was very young, she said, Johnny, no matter what happens, it's not worth doing unless you are yourself. The worst advice I've ever received was someone told me that I should get out of the entertainment industry because there's no child star who has ever made it as an adult actor. So I should probably just leave the business. I got that advice when I was 19. Clearly I didn't listen to them. So the best advice that I've ever received was define what success means to you because that truly helps you throughout life, personally and professionally. Yes, I'm gonna say the best advice I've ever been given is from my mother and it's to live with no regrets. And I feel like it's always made me live this life with no what ifs. I feel like I've always kind of taken that leap of faith because I didn't want to live with regrets. Yes, and mine was for mom too. Ooh, what a good mom we have. Yeah.